have a nice day. Hey, beautiful. It's Sunday, August 29th, 2021. Welcome to Have a Nice Gay. We're like a pumpkin spice latte all year long. Unless you're not into those, which then we're not. We're whatever your favorite We're regular instead. coffee. <laughs> Just a, I'm, a bunch of it. I'm Mike Johnson, and I'm here with my friend Kyle Getz. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. You said that there's a this gay in history that you wanted to share. Yes. I think this was a really important and enlightening this gay in history. Um, I'm going to tell you about about the first self-proclaimed homosexual to speak out publicly for gay rights. Oh, great. Um, Okay. And the person that I'm going to give you a little bit of background on who did this is Carl's Heinrich Ulrichs, who you have told me about either on Gayish on this show in a shared dream we had. I don't, I can't remember anymore, (laughs) but uh, I thought it was really important to mark this day and uh, just make sure he's one of the pioneers of the modern gay rights movement. So he definitely needs to get his, uh, you know, he has his, his props. His, his props, propers. his pride okay. props. Exactly. Great. Um, so he was born in 1825 uh, in Europe in what would now be uh, Germany. Um, he, uh, among lots of things, uh, he's best known for the writing that he did uh, throughout his career. He wrote uh, 12 books on gay rights. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in uh, first, he started out writing under a pen name, but then ended up uh publishing under his real name which when he started to do that um, is considered the first uh, public coming out in modern society wow. which i i didn't you know think of the first coming out or even knowing what who that was but likely that was him when he started uh writing under his real name yeah um he came out as uh, he called it an earning was what he used for gay men because at the time there were no other names uh, other than names that had really negative connotations. So he mm-hmm, created mm-hmm. his own word, earning, uh, as well as words for bisexual, lesbian, uh, a lot of other identities. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. When when he came out, he was uh, arrested. He was often in trouble for his writing, and people tried to destroy his writing. Um, uh, the moment that we are this gay in history right now is on August 29th, 1867. Um, he uh, spoke out publicly in defense of homosexuality when he urged the repeal of anti-homosexuality laws at the Congress of German Jurists in Munich. Wow. There's so much gay history that I, I personally need to know about and learn about and to think about in 1867 is yeah. the first public uh you know defense is is it's crazy we we, we say this a lot we say things like it a lot and that's a hundred years before stonewall more than a hundred years before stonewall that's stonewall was great and very important and that's not when our story as queer people began yeah absolutely absolutely um and uh that's all I'll tell you about his uh, his life other than um, he, he traveled around with a friend and he used the phrase, the thing I was watching about him said uh, they called it inverted sexualities, which I just really liked that phrase. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like they weren't calling it out or anything. They just mentioned that. And I just really enjoyed that. Like, I'm not broken. I'm just inverted. <laughs> <laughs> He made his appearance in court today. Um, Yep, exactly. Thank you for that. Well, that is it for This Gay in History. Join us tomorrow for Motivational Monday. We are Have a Nice Gay Pod on all social media, and our website is haveanicegay.com. If there's a moment from queer history that you think we should talk about, we absolutely want to hear it. Please email it to us at haveanicegaypod at gmail.com. Until tomorrow, have a nice gay, Kyle. Have a nice gay, Mike. Have a nice day.